Do you have a goal of retiring early? Most of us do. Well, how do you do it? What's the path that leads to early retirement? I've got that and more coming up. My name is Mike Bernardo, the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. How do you retire early? That is, I feel like they should probably teach that course in high school. I, I, it, really, the, the financial literacy, that is why The Wise Money Show exists, trying to elevate and, and, and increase, raise the financial literacy out there, helping you see and, 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 and know what to do taking your next wise step in your financial life and so many people want to retire early and here's my here's my guess that you want to do the work so that you're able to retire early but hopefully you find purpose and enjoyment and satisfaction in what you do and then you're in the driver's seat to say well i'm able to retire early but i'm going to keep working for a few years it, it actually helps me financially and and you know health insurance is good gives me more social security uh it helps my social security grow that sort of thing but i'm in a position where i could retire early but I'm choosing to continue to work. I, I, I think that's the, the, you know, the ideal solution, which is why we talk a lot about retirement, but it really is financial independence, looking at all six areas of your financial life and ensuring that you have financial independence. What's the path look like? If that's the, de the destination, I wanna be in a position where I can retire early. And I'm, I'm saying early, however you define it, 55, 60, 62, however you define it. I wanna be in a position to retire early. Well. You can't show up, if that's 60 for you, you can't show up at 59 and say, all right, time to do that work. No, it's got, it's, the path is long. The path is long. What's along that path? What's on that path? What do you need to do to be in a position to retire early? I've got five things that are on that path that will help you be able to retire early. First, you have to begin saving as early as possible and you need to save aggressively. And I, I'm, I'm saying that because it has a dual meaning, okay? So you have to save early, ideally from your very first paycheck. And if you resist that idea, because listen, there, I'm juggling a lot in life and I had student loans and, you know, and, and all that. I get it, I get it. Those are all reasons and yet still save early, find a way, save early and then save aggressively. What does that mean? Well. I would encourage you, we'd coach you, you should be saving 15% from your very first paycheck towards retirement. Oh, but I get a match of six, so does that mean I should do nine? No, do 15%. And know that you know that's just a habit that we'd want you to build, and yet that might not get you to a point where you're able to retire as early as you want, so you might consider even doing more. I would say that's aggressive. But second, because you're young, and, and why save early? Because of the compound interest that you can build, and therefore your investment structure needs to be aggressive. Market might be high, gotta invest aggressively. We just had a big drawback or, or pullback, gotta invest aggressively, right? So, so step number one on the path, I would say early, like the earliest stop, the earliest part of the path that leads to the ability to retire early is you've got to save early and save aggressively. Second, second step or second thing that you need to do in order to be in a position to retire early. And this, it, it, guys, they're all connected. And by the way, it's not rocket science, it's, but, it, it, but it's hard to do. Live below your means. Live below your means. Find a way to spend less, considerably less, than what you're making. I get this question all the time. In order to save up a lot of money, do you have to have high income? You don't. You don't. I have seen lots of people with super high income and super high lifestyle. You don't need to earn a lot to, to save a lot. You do need to live below your means. Whatever you're earning, you've got to live below that. And so that is along that path towards being able to retire early. Why? The folks that we've seen retire early successfully have worked what I call the Bernard Paradox. Why? Because no one else has, has, has titled it anything. I think it's, that's a terrible name. It's the best I could come up with. You, you name it something different. But the less you spend, the more dry powder, the more discretionary cash flow, the more, the, the more free cash flow you have to save up. So you'll be able to accomplish that step number one better if you spend less, okay? So spending below your means gives you the ability to save up more. But here's this, the less you spend, 
the less you need to save, right? If if your retirement is just one big vacation and you're going on a cheap vacation, you don't need to have that much saved up versus, no, we're going to Europe and we're gonna eat out every, every day and it's five-star restaurants and by the way, five-star hotels, that's it. So we're gonna spend a lot. Well, boy, you gotta save a lot, right? And so this, this second live below your means, so simple, very hard, very hard to do, but it addresses that Bernard paradox where you have, a lot more dry powder to save up, so you're able to save up aggressively, but actually you don't need as much saved. And, and again, going back to the folks that we've been able to, that we've seen, we've been able to coach and help achieve like early retirement. Yeah, they, they live within their means. They've just done a fantastic job of managing their expenses and their lifestyle. And hopefully they've saved up. So they're, gosh, yeah, we've got room for some luxuries here. Um, but really we're, we, we don't need that much living within or living below your means. That could be budgeting, three bank account system, all those disciplines, but finding a way to live below your means. Third, have a contingency plan. You would think that this doesn't belong on the list. Everything about uh, retiring early should be about saving, right? No, 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 having a contingency plan. Why? Because along your financial path, whether it's a path that leads to early retirement or not, it's gonna be windy. It's gonna be windy, there's gonna be curveballs. there's gonna be uh, whatever analogy you want me to use, there's gonna be surprises that show up. And here's the question, financially, are you prepared for those surprises or do they derail you? Do they derail you? You might think, well, I, uh, I, there are surprises, how can I be prepared? Well, if you knew that a financial event could occur, but you weren't sure what it would be and when it would happen, how, would you, how could you be prepared for that? having an emergency fund, having um, manageable debt, very, very little debt, being careful how much debt you invite into your life so that if something comes up, you're able to be nimble. And you've got, cash, you, you've got a cash reserve, that emergency fund. You've got insurances in place so that if there's an interruption to your income, hopefully it's short term, but, uh, but if there's an interruption in your income because of a health related issue, you've got other income coming in. Health insurance is in place and, and if it's a high deductible, you've got that deductible saved up so that along the way, if you've got a broken bone or if there's a health issue, you've got the resources there to cover that deductible. So, so you've got a contingency plan in place if things don't go as planned because Again, no matter what the path or how well you plan, life's gonna throw you some, some curveballs. And if it requires, if navigating those curveballs requires that you have to pause your retirement contributions or pause the, the progress you're making in your financial life, then it's gonna be hard for you to stay on that track of retiring early. It's very possible one of life's curveball, curveballs means you don't wanna retire early anymore or you're unable to or there's a big health event, so be it but having a contingency plan helps you retire early. Fourth, in order to retire early, you need to have a consistently applied investment strategy. Consistently applied, meaning in good times, yep, and bad times, yep. When it looks like everything's going gangbusters in the stock market and just one area is really, really succeeding, do I jump in there? Nope, I, I, stay, I stay consistent. Uh-oh, nothing's working. I was, I'm diversified and all baskets have fallen on the ground and they're broken. Staying diversified or stay, staying disciplined, whatever that long-term investment strategy is, sticking to it in good times and bad, that is the key to, that's one of the keys, that's the fourth, to being able to retire early. You need to leverage that long-term risk reward relationship that the stock market provides, that investing provides. There's no way to get the upside and avoid the downside. If you want to avoid the downside, you are stepping away from the opportunity to achieve that upside. And talked about this a lot on the Wise Money Show right here on this channel, but oftentimes stock market returns are lumpy. It, that, that's just how the market behaves, where you could go a long time period where the market's going up and down and you feel like I'm taking this risk, I feel the risk, I see the risk, I'm not really getting the reward. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, with all sorts of things to worry about, the market gives you three years worth of returns in just a few months. That's, that's just how it operates and therefore, having a consistent thought, you know, thoughtful and, and appropriate, prudent investment strategy, but one that you stick to throughout your life. I don't have the details right in front of me, didn't think I was gonna say this, but, but go back and look at Warren Buffett. What percentage of his wealth was built after age 65? 
The majority, the vast majority. Well, how is that possible? He just has so much income, he just keeps saving? No, he's continuing to leverage compound interest. He's continuing to invest prudently so that he's getting doubles on his investments. And then lastly, step five, a crucial step on the path to you being able to retire early is know where you stand. You've heard me say this time and again. There's five factors that help determine or that, that determine whether you're on track to retire. The retirement that you're envisioning. What age do you want to be done? How much are you going to be spending? What are your income sources in retirement? How much do you have saved up and how much are you saving? And what in, what risk tolerance are you are you taking? If you if you go back and look at the previous four four steps, they all touch on touch on one of these five things. And therefore, you've got to tune in early to those five factors, build out that five-factor retirement plan so that you see where you stand. You might not like the initial answer. Oh, I want to retire early. For me, that's 57. And when I build it, I, I, I'm, I think I'm on track and I build it out and I realize my plan only has a 60% confidence rate. Oh, that, that hurts my feelings. Okay, but now I'm aware. What do I need to adjust to make sure that that confidence rating is at 90% or 85% or whatever your goal is? But here's the other key with that. As life evolves, as things change, continue to update that retirement picture to see, are you still on track? Are you still on track? Are you still on track? That's monitoring the progress, any, any, any step towards or, or, or plan towards goal achievement includes the monitoring your progress. For our Clients, we do this every single year, at least every single year. We update all the variables. Are you still on track? Are you still on track? Sometimes you're not. And we say, no, I, we, we think this is going to self-correct. Let's monitor it over the next year or two and let's not make any adjustments and, and see if things self-correct. Or, no, we've got to make a shift here. Uh, do you want to, you know, are you able to increase your spending? Could you, could you work an extra year or something like that? Know where you stand. Okay, guys, there's, there's more to it, but those are, those are five essential steps or, or, or parts of the path that leads to being able to retire early. You gotta be working with a guide, someone that can help you along that path, that, that path, give you clarity, confidence, but also creative strategies so that you can get there, whatever, retire early, however you would define that. So work with your CFP on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one on my team. Find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well. Or send us an email, info at corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.